I have this three-phase motor and I want to run it with my 12 volt battery. But there is no three-phase inverter in the markets that can do that because they designed for high power and they need four batteries in series. So I decided to make my own circuit. There are two methods to make a three-phase inverter using a microcontroller or by using an SPWM module. But I don't like to use them. Instead, I want to use 4017 IC, triple 5 timer and some other components that I already have. So I need a three-way form with 120 degrees phase shaft between them. I divided them into six steps. In the first step, the counter switched on phase A and phase C. In the second step, switched on phase A only. Then phase A and B. Then phase B only. Then B and C and finally C only. Then reset the counter and repeat the six steps again. There are three transformers, one for each phase. Each transformer connected to two MOSFETs. We need a NOT gate here to make sure only one MOSFET each time is switched on. We also need an oscillator for the clock input of the 4017IC. I designed the PCB and ordered it from PCBWay. Then I soldered the components. First, I used only one transformer to make sure everything is fine. There are some high voltage spikes, so I used this capacitor across the output to remove them. I'm using a star connection for the transformers, which means this wire is neutral. This is the voltage between phase and neutral, and this is the voltage between two phases. You can see here the delay time between phase 1 and phase 2 is 6.6 .6 millisecond. That means almost 119 degrees. I used the three phase tester that I made in a previous video. This switch flipped two phases to reverse the motor. This is the output waveform by using a probe with 100 times attenuation. The power consumption of this motor is 60 watts. For high power, you need bigger transformers. The output frequency depends on the value of this resistor. It could be adjustable by using this potentiometer up to 300 Hz, so you can change the speed of the induction motor. But to be honest with you, it was a bad idea because the transformer itself cannot work with wide range of frequencies. So I'm gonna remove this potentiometer later. I measured the efficiency of this inverter and it was almost 69%. You can use this inverter with 24 volt battery, but you need 18 volt transformers. If you need single phase, you have to connect only one transformer. On the PCB, there is a space for one more MOSFET in parallel with the first one to make them handle more current, but I didn't use them. The maximum power of this inverter could be 1 kW or maybe even more. Depends on the transformers, MOSFETs, and even the size of the heatsink. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.